He's also the first president, as far as we know, who frequently enjoyed skinny dipping. The thing about John Q was, he was a pretty straight-laced guy. I mean, look at him. He's not the kind of bro you'd look at and say, I bet he loves being nude in public. But apparently, when it came to swimming, he did. As political boss Thurlow Weed, who once hit on the riverbank to confirm the president's habit in the buff, said, quote, Adams seemed as much at ease in that element as on terra firma. But this habit did occasionally get him in trouble. The first instance occurred, according to legend, when a female journalist named Anne Royal was tired of not getting a face-to-face -face with Adams. So she decided to get a face-to-frontal with him. One morning, as he was swimming, she showed up on the riverbank and sat in his clothes until he gave her the interview she wanted. Talk about being up close and personal. The second naked swimming incident wasn't as friendly, though. In fact, it almost killed him. Feeling confident, he had a White House servant named Antoine row him across the Potomac so he could swim across the entire river, which is cool, great, until a storm came up and capsized the boat. Adams, who was already naked, swam back fine. Antoine, however, fully clothed, stripped as soon as he hit the water, likely due to how much his clothing would have weighed him down and potentially drowned him. This is how he and Adams ended up on the shore, both naked and exhausted, which is a reality show I wouldn't watch. Too tired and embarrassed to move, Adams gave his clothing to Antoine to run back to the White House and grab him some new threads. In the meantime, Adams got in some naked basking on the bank, as he later wrote in his diary, which also gave him plenty of time to decide, well, that he was never going to try to swim from the other side of the Potomac again. And he never did.